What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution, and this is my continuous coverage and my 30 day challenge with the Microsoft ecosystem in the Microsoft platform. I'm using Microsoft devices here. So I'm going to give you my five days uh, with these devices. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video and today I want to kind of give you some of my good and bad with the first five days with the Windows phone and the Windows platform. Well, let's talk about some of the good things uh, about these devices, about the platform itself. I went with the, the 1520 which has the 800 SOC and then I went with uh, a later device which is the 6. 40 that came out in 2015 again i have the uh, the 950 and the 950 xl on order so i will have those devices in the lab very soon but i went with two powerful devices one uh, is a little powerful than the other and uh if you watch my previous videos uh, you will see that app opening and everything, of course, is going to be faster on the 800 SOC compared to the 640 that's running the 400 SOC from Snapdragon. All right, so uh, the battery life on both of these devices has been phenomenal. Uh, of course, if you know about the Lumia, Nokia Lumia 1520, you know with the 3400 milliamp battery, it runs like a charm. So, uh, some of the good things I want to tell you about these devices is that I love the customization. I'm running Windows 10 Preview, all right? I want to kind of say that because uh, it, it has some of its shortcomings also. Uh, I was able to customize my screen to the way I like it. Now, uh, as you watch my videos in the past, you know that I'm a Synx fan and I don't have my Synx logo on these devices. It's because I love this color with this, the background color of the Windows platform. So I have the uh, the Windows logo in the background and it, it's phenomenal, it's beautiful. Uh, also, so again, I customize uh, my screen to my liking. Uh, I got folders here, my school folder there that has all my Evernote, OneNote, PowerPoint, and all that stuff like that, uh, which is phenomenal. I want to say that the Windows 10 Preview is very smooth and fluid, and uh, I don't have any problems with app opening and stuff like that. Uh, it takes phenomenal pictures on the Nokia 640 uh, and uh, the 1520. Uh, both of them take phenomenal pictures. You got an eight megapixel camera here. You got a 20 megapixel camera here. Uh, you know, so again, you have to remember the price difference also. The 640 uh, was $49, okay? Uh, I got the, the Nokia uh, 1520 back when it was released a couple of years ago. It was pretty high in device. Now you could probably pick this device up for under 300 bucks. Let's talk about some of the shortcomings uh, of these devices, of the platform, not as far as the devices, but it's the platform itself. Now, Windows 10 Preview, again, it's not a final bill, so you have to give Microsoft a pass. Now, uh, I want to thank some of my subscribers uh, uh, to, to leave comments about the previous video that I made about some of the apps that I couldn't find. And yes, I want to thank y'all. I found a great YouTube app. To me, it was it's better than the original. Uh, also, I found all my social media apps, uh, as far as Tweetum, is better, in my opinion, than the original tweet, uh, uh, Twitter app. Also, I found Six Tag uh, for my Instagram. It's phenomenal. So, uh, you do have some third-party apps in the App Store that's even better than the original apps. Okay, so the, the reason why I'm doing this 30 day challenge is because a lot of people I've, I've watch on YouTube and I see a lot of people uh, say that uh, Microsoft is done. Uh, 2016 is the end for Microsoft. They only got uh, a 3% market share and this, that, the other. Listen, guys, before I pass judgment on the whole platform, I'm going to use these devices to its fullest to make sure that before I give a valid opinion or something about a platform, I want to work them before I tell you guys 
Microsoft is dead. At this point in time, five days in, nah, nah, Microsoft got something going on here. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the Microsoft platform right now, and I'm giving Microsoft a pass on certain things because it's a preview version. Another thing I don't like is the Microsoft Edge browser. And again, I want to thank some of my uh, subscribers on my channel that gave me uh, some alternative browsers, such as UC Browser and other browsers that I could use on the Windows 10 platform. Uh, but other than that, my five days in, uh, I am very, very happy at this point uh, with the Windows 10 preview and I'm excited to see and I'm excited to get some of the new Illumia devices uh, in the lab to work with them to see what's the difference between some of these devices and some of the other devices. Okay, so let's get the monkey out the room. Yes, it has some issues with apps. Yes, it does uh, not have the Google services. We know that already. So when you get into the Windows platform, you already know that you're, going, you're not going to have some of the Google services. You're not going to have the Google apps, the Google maps, but they do have maps uh, that's capable of taking care of business in the app store. Uh, I wish this is probably like not like the good, the bad, the ugly, but this is one of the ugliest that I could. This one ugly that I have. I wish that Clash of Clans was on this platform. I'm a Clash of Clan uh, fan, and uh, you know that's not going to make me or break me on this platform. But if, if a representative of Clash of Clan can watch this video, I want to let you know that Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, I work with iOS, I work with the Android platform, and I love Clash of Clans. Can you please put Clash of Clans in the Microsoft Store so us fans can have an opportunity to work with that app and have fun with your app? Again, it has a bit all peaches and cream. I do have some issues with the preview version, okay? I, I you know, it's, it's kind of hard to gauge uh, uh, some of the things that I've seen on the preview versions with, uh, you know, with, with the Edge browser and some of the other shortcomings uh, with the Microsoft and, and the Windows 10 platform. So I'm going to pass judgment uh, when I get the final build with this device. And so uh, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. My five days in, I want to give Microsoft a thumbs up. Now, that might beg the differ of some of the other uh, people that you may hear on YouTube that say that the platform is dead. My opinion, no. Uh, some people say that uh, they, you can't customize the, 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 the screen. Well, I'm showing you that that you can. Uh, so, uh, am I, I'm not getting paid by Microsoft to tell you guys this. If you follow my channel, you already know how I, what I, how I roll on my channel. So, uh, if you are a person, a new subscriber, or somebody that just fumbled on this video, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Check out my 30-day challenge, my continuous coverage with the Microsoft platform. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Give me a thumbs up, share this video. Let me know what you think about the Windows 10 platform. See you on the next video. Peace.